okay, we are gonna be adding or creating the background that we're gonna be cutting and gluing our birch trees to. So your paper doesn't need to be horizontal today. We're gonna go ahead, um, go ahead and write your name because this is gonna, there's no way of flipping it over and using the other side. Again, there's no drawing, it is just painting. So once you've got your name, flip it over. We're gonna fold it. So take the long top, meet to the long bottom give us the line in the middle so we kind of know where to draw our horizon, where the sky meets the um, earth. Um, more of a curvy line, this is hills of snow that we're looking at. This is gonna stay white. The paper's white, snow is white. We're not gonna bother that. So you're just gonna take your pencil and kind of draw a light line where the sky is gonna be and where the snow is. Again, not straight across, give us some, but not like zigzags. I shouldn't see a roller coaster. Once you do that, put your pencil away. Then once you get your line, you'll get your tray off the back counter. Now we have six colors. We're not using all six. You're gonna keep um, with your cool colors or your warm colors. So figure out which sunset, sunrise, however you wanna look at it, what would you want? Do you want yellow, pink, and red on the sky or purple, blue, and green? You can see on my door, purple, blue, and green is what I've used before. I'm gonna use yellow, pink, and red. Carefully pop the tops, keeping the paint on the tray, whichever one you're using. Take your tops. I just put them in this little cup over here. Paint brushes, dump them so everybody can grab a handle. And then you're just gonna create your sunset sunrise now um, I suggest making sure that you always wipe your brush off in between your um, colors and always start light to dark so I'm gonna start with yellow I'll wipe it off then I'll move to pink and then I'll finish with red and again it doesn't matter if you're putting your light on the bottom or on the top I'm gonna start with yellow so just follow the line you drew with your pencil and we're gonna kind of blend our way to the top so I'm gonna put a little yellow okay and technically I'm kind of wiping my brush off on my paper to get all the yellow off so then I can just move right into pink kind of add a little pink into there blending it in with my yellow a bit kind of makes an orange once I've got that, then I'm gonna again kind of work my way, getting all that paint off my brush, on my paper, and finish off with my red. Again, blending it a little bit in with the pink. Again, if I want a little more pink, I can just wipe it off. If I want a little more pink to show, wipe it off. A good thing to do is get a completely, not completely clean, but somewhat clean, and then just take the paint you already have and kind of blend it in going up. Okay, I'm happy with that. Again, wipe off all the paint, get your brush, put it in the house. Again, take the house when you walk your tray back. Take these brushes that are dirty, you're dumping them in the orange bucket that has soapy water, it's the little sink. Please do not forget to do that because if you lay it on the back counter, I may not see it. I'm not gonna wash it unless it's in my soapy bucket of water. So please make sure you dump those in there. Make sure that you get your tops, close all the paints. Because if you also, if some of you use the cool, you're gonna have to close all six. Make sure those are on. Walk your tray to the back counter. Then to make sure that you take your paint mat and your artwork, walk it back to the drying rack, drop your mat off, walk your art and put it on the drying rack. 